Let's talk about my process when learning a new programming language, but specifically learning a new programming language fast. I think it's something that as software engineers that we really need to find that balance of both learning new things fast as we're always learning and always growing and the demands for our skills keep on changing, which is exciting, but also let's be honest, it's kind of exhausting. That mixed with not only doing it fast, but having the quality. I'm gonna share with you my process of learning a new programming language in five days. Now, the reason I chose five days for this video is specifically because a lot of times if I'm onboarding for a new project at work, I need to get familiar with that code base, that language really quickly. And there are some tips and tricks that I've learned, tips and tricks, so cliche, but such an easy, tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that truly helped me and I have seen using these and utilizing these make my learning process not only faster, but less stressful. Before we get into it though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Leave in the comments down below other topics you want me to cover. Ask your questions to me. This is why I'm here. I wanna share my experience, my insight, my wins, but most importantly, my failures and what I've learned from them. So leave in the comments. Okay, let's just jump right in. The first thing I do when I am learning any new programming language, well, I was gonna say start with the core key concepts and the fundamentals, which isn't the first thing, but I would say even before that, get it running on your computer, get the environment running, find a uh, IDE that really works for you with this, find what language, what IDE is recommended for the programming language and just get it up and running. That's my first thing. Second thing with that, in the first tip I would say, is go to the documentation. That is, I would say, tied into that because too often when we are learning something new, we as developers like to do it the hard way, meaning documentation for whatever reason is something we detest, I guess, until it's absolutely needed. I feel like we always go to Stack Overflow, but when you are learning something new, specifically a new programming language, go to the documentation. Different languages will have different uh, varying levels of documentation. But for example, with Python, they have great documentation and it literally tells you where to start. The second thing I like to do is to really focus on building habits for learning. And what I mean by that is if I need to learn something new in a very short amount of time, I like to have a plan going into it. And I think it does a few things. One thing it really does is hold me accountable. It no I know that every day at this time, I am going to be learning this new programming language. Let's face it, the older we get, the less time we seem to have to learn new things. And that's really unfortunate, but it's just with bills and career and family and just life, it's hard to find time to focus on learning something new because when you are spending that time learning something new, it's hard to get your mind in the right place of the right framework, I guess you could say. Oftentimes we sit down and, okay, I'm gonna learn something new today and then our mind is somewhere else and we don't get anything done. So I like to build habits that I do just around learning. Actually, you know what? Let me, rather than me talking about habits I do, let me just show you. Let's go, come on. We're literally going, we're going. something new and you need to get into what is the word that that routine those habits is get out of the house for me going to my co-working space sitting down somewhere where there's no distractions is the biggest piece of advice I can give you when you are learning something new especially if you need to learn it fast obviously if you don't have a co-working space I'm not saying you need that but coffee shop wherever go to the park if it's nice out but somewhere where you are out of your house and you can totally focus Okay, so that's kind of what I do on day one, but really throughout my entire week of learning something new is to get in that habit, have that rhythm routine, whether it be an hour or two, and making it out of my calendar, knowing exactly what time I'm going to be going. And it sounds pretty rigid, but otherwise I am so not someone who is disciplined, so I need that, that laid out for me. Okay, so let's move on to day two. So we have our habits, we know we need to learn the fundamentals, we downloaded you know, the ID required for the programming language on our computer, maybe we did Hello World, what's next? Well, for me looking at day two, what that would look like is after I've learned the fundamentals and really have a strong 
understanding or even maybe not a strong but a solid understanding of the fundamentals I would move on to taking a tutorial now I know there's this thing called tutorial ha tutorial hell where it's you get stuck on a tutorial or sorry you keep on doing different tutorial after tutorial and that's something you need to be aware of but I do think having a tutorial when you're first learning something new is such a great way to really ramp up on something new in a quick amount of time. Now for me, when I'm choosing a tutorial, I usually end up doing a Udemy or YouTube class, usually because they've just been reliable and I always go based on what other people are saying in the comments, if it's based on a YouTube video, if it's on Udemy, I'll do both the comments, but also to when it was created, when it was updated and the reviews. What does it have for reviews? Okay, so now we have taken a tutorial, we have the fundamentals down, what comes next really? For me, it's adding on to the tutorial, whether it be challenging myself to do a new feature or yeah, really just a new feature depending on how big or small it is. But I think it's a great way to add on to something that you've already built and not feel like your next step is starting from scratch. break from doing some work and I wanted to finish off the the last few days what it would look like when learning a new programming language so we have taken a tutorial we've learned the fundamentals we have our habits and our routines what's next and we've also built upon the tutorial may I add the next thing I would do on the following day is to build something on your own and for me I typically will build something on my own that's actually pretty similar to the tutorial I have taken and Maybe for some people, they want to kind of more branch out and do something different, but I like to kind of stay that that path or that course of action because I know I'm familiar with it um, and just to really reinforce my learning. So next up, I will build something on my own, kind of similar to the tutorial I took. And even then, if I need help or I get stuck, I can always refer back to the tutorial. It's a good way to really reinforce your learning. That brings me to us to our last day, our fifth and final day. And the best thing for me that really helps reinforce again my learnings is to talk about it. And I'm sure all of you are familiar with the rubber ducky method, but honestly, I know it's overused, but it's so true that if you actually speak out loud of what you are learning, whether it's to a rubber ducky, or maybe it's just to a wall or whatever it is, whatever your choice is, uh, to your mom, whomever. It's a really great way to see where there are gaps still in your learning and where you need to go. Now, after these five days are done, you're obviously not going to be a professional in this programming language, but you definitely have a solid base of able to kind of, of starting to take off. And for me, this is really what I do anytime I am starting a new project or any kind of thing new. So, okay, we covered the five days. I gotta get back to work. I'm procrastinating. It's a Saturday here and I'm working on build space, building a little NFT game, which is pretty cool, uh, or learning to build it. So speaking of learning, I gotta get back to it. Okay, we are, we are back from our little journey. Uh, and I hope I gave you a good insight as to kind of just what I like to do to really focus on learning something new. But I wanted to sit down with you and, and continue with some other things that I do. Okay, by this point, we've gone through really what each day of learning will look like and break broken it down of what it should entail and how to really get the most out of your learnings. But I wanna end by saying something that took me a long time to get grasp. This is something they don't teach you in school. They don't teach you, you're, lots of people don't ever learn this, which is you know more than you think you do. By this point of your learnings with something new, especially new programming language, you're probably sitting there going, I still have so much to learn. And yes, you do. I, I know that feeling. But also look back on those last few days. This is so important. 
look back on those last few days and realize just how far you've come, how much you have learned. That motivation, that fuel of recognizing just how far you've come should just push you forward to keep on going. And it really provides a snowball effect. We always look at how far we have to go, but we really need to look at just how far we have come. And I know that sounds pretty obvious or like, yes, Tiffany, of course, but I really hope you take those words that I shared with you about reflecting on how far you have come and put them into action and, and really do that as well. Because for me, that's the main motivator as to why I am able to pick up new things quickly and uh, whether it be programming languages, frameworks, anything is because I can see just in such a short amount of time how capable we are to learn so much. And that's really exciting and pretty cool. So really don't doubt yourself, build up that confidence that these are the skills you have were able to do in such a short amount of time and utilize that to keep on going. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video of how I would learn a new programming language or do learn a new programming language in five days or less. And listen, if this is your first programming language you're learning, I'm not trying to set unrealistic standards here by saying you need to learn in five days, but rather having an understanding and sharing with you my process to learn something new and just how capable we as humans are to learn so much in such a short amount of time with the little bit of different tricks and tactics to help us out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Amazing!